Everyone's always talking about big O notation, but what about little o? What's going on there? First, let's remind ourselves what big O notation is. Imagine we have an algorithm whose runtime is modeled by some function f, which is a very complicated looking function. Big O notation is a notation that lets us simplify one function f by capturing a simpler function that dominates it, g, so that when we talk about f's runtime we can just use g instead. Ideally you want a tight bound, meaning you can make f and g similar by multiplying f by a constant, which I'm representing here by scaling it up and down. More formally this means f and g are asymptotically equivalent. Now this is where little o comes in. Literally, f equals o of g translates to f is less than any constant times g, meaning that there's no constant that you can hope to multiply f by to beat g. More formally, this means that f is in a lower class of functions than g is. Oh yeah, there's also big and little omega, but we'll talk about those another day.